From the vault to videos. All right, Lady Ada, what's this? All right, I'm having a nice cup of tea and also at the same time testing out a new breakout board I made. This is the DS2484. Yeah, this is an I2C to one wire converter. So one wire is this bi directional system for communicating data and also providing power for some low power uh, components, often used for like switches, EEPROMs, and some temperature sensors like the DS. 18B20, as shown here. Um, you know, actually, the Arduino uh, Uno that at Mega328 does have support for one wire built in, but there's a lot of chips that don't necessarily have one wire, maybe a single board computer, Linux, or your, your desktop, but you still want to interact with one wire devices. Well, um, this board will let you use I2C, so through a stomach UT port. And then I'm using our little chainable. DS18B20 helper board just to make it easy to connect multiple sensors, including this waterproof temperature sensor. I'm going to put my T. And then if we go here, hold on, I have to reset this. There you go. OK. Uh, it resets the one wire bus, and it can detect three devices. It prints out the in unique ROMs. And the temperature, you can see the T is a little bit warmer. Uh, otherwise, it's getting room temperature. So this is great, because it's actually going through I squared C. It's a generic Arduino library, so then anything that has one uh, I2C support can now communicate with one wire devices. Cool. All right, Lady Data, what's this? This is the USB C Type C plug breakout I made. Uh, you know, I've had breakouts for the USB socket, but this is the plug. This is the part that goes in. And I was a little bit worried about this because um, a lot of these have like these little fingers of solder on both sides, and that's the only thing keeping them mechanically connected. This one I liked because it has a through hole tabs, these mechanical tabs, and there's only two of them. Um, but it actually seems pretty strong. I mean, like if you really bend, you know, you'll probably snap it off. But uh, it'll take some abuse, and so I'm testing it here um, with a feather. Um, uh, ESP32, and I have this soldered in. And then I'm actually using another board that I just finished designing and is going to be in the shop soon, which is a USB switchable, you know, breakout adapter thingy. Sometimes they're called like USB condoms, where you can switch any other of the pins on and off. Um, this lets me, you know, basically connect to a USB port very easily because it's got breakouts. And then I can verify that on the computer I have the USB uh, seat connected through because I'm getting data from the circuit pie drive. So um, these are good. I'm going to get them into the store real fast. And I think then we can design USB-C trinkies and other devices that plug directly into a USB-C port, which is kind of cool. All right. And that's sub secret. Ooh. Now you know it's coming up.